Hi to all. I am Dr. A. Divya, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, Kesar College of Arts and Science for Women. We are going to discuss the topic data structures and the algorithm. In that, we discuss the symbol table. Symbol table is an important data structure created and maintained by the compiler in order to keep the record of the semantics of the variables. That is, store the information about the scope and binding information about the name, information about instance of variable entities such as the variables and function names, classes, objects, etc. It is the built-in lexical and synthetic analysis phases. The information is collected by the analysis phases of the compiler and it is used by the synthesis phase of the compiler to generate the code. It is used by the compiler to achieve the compile time efficiency. It is used by various phases of the compiler as they follows. First one is a lexical analysis. Create a new table entities in the table, for example, like entities about the tokens. Next one is the synthetic analysis. Add information regarding attribute, type, scope, dimension, line of reference, etc. Next one is a semantic analysis. Uses available information in the table to check for the semantics. That is to verify that the expressions and assignments are semantically correct, type checking and update it accordingly. Next one is a intermediate code generation. Refers simple table for knowing how much and what type of runtime is allocated and the table helps in adding temporary available information. Next one is the code optimization. Uses information present in the simple table for missing dependent optimization. Next one is the target code generation. Generates code by using address information of identifiers present in the tables. Next one is the item stored in symbol table. Variables names and constants, procedures and function name, literals constants and strings. Next one is the compare generated temporaries. Next is the labels in source languages.